Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Kaval Mehta and today we will understand how to conduct logistic regression analysis in rapid finder. Basically, we use logistic regression when we are having one dependent variable and many dependent variables. But the dependent variables will be running in categorical scale. The example is rural, urban, male, female. And the independent variable is in continuous. How we can do this in rapid finder? Let us see. So for this, I'll bring a data set which is having a categorical dependent variable. I'll activate the data. I'll connect this spline here. Now you can see here there is a data set which is related to the heart disease. The age is specified, the gender is specified, chest pain type, resting, cholesterol, fasting, resting, ECG, maximum hours, exercise, and the heart disease. Basically, this will become my target variable. Is heart disease yes or no? It is in category. It's a very special case of linear regression in which your dependent variable is categorical. Now, this particular operator contains all the variables. Therefore, they, it is not necessary that we select all of them. So, we'll have to use select attribute operator. I'll drag it and drop it here. Make sure operator is on. Subset it. Select. I'll select those variables which are matter of my interest. So, I'll specify age cholesterol of the person, fasting blood sugar, heart disease, old pick, resting blood pressure, and gender. Simply drop it here. Press apply. Now, I will have to specify the rule. Set the rule. This time, I'll specify the heart disease as my categorical, as my dependent variable. I'll label it. Now, I'll be running logistic regression. Logistic regression is more a classification algorithm. So, I'll drop it here, logistic regression. I'll simply run it and I got the results. All those variables whose p-value is less than 0 0.05 are significant at 5% level of significance and they are contributing towards deciding that the heart disease will be there or not. Or rather, they influence the heart disease or not. Now, you should always remember in case of a logistic regression, what is coded as 1? Because the interpretation of everything which is coded as 1 will be dependent on that. Now let us try to understand. This variable, these variables are having a positive coefficients. These are also having a positive coefficients. And therefore, they are contributing towards the heart disease, yes. And if it is having a negative coefficient, it means that they are cont contributing towards the no sign. Make sure you remember that part. Okay? You will remember this. Now let us understand that how we will evaluate the performance of this logistic regression. Basically, for this, we will use a cross tabulation. I'll again go in design and I will have to activate, apply the model. I'll drag it and drop it here. Now, this time make sure that the performance which you select is a classific classification, not the regression. Linear regression is for prediction. Logistic regression is for classification. Now you select model to model, example to unlabel, label to label, and performance to result, and model to result. When you run it, you will get the equation, that's fine. But you will get one more thing and that's a performance factor. Now, this is a matter of my interest. A 
person is have does not have a heart disease no and our model has also predicted it does not have the heart disease so there are 306 cases in which the prediction was done correctly now in this case the person was having a heart disease and the model also predicted that the, the person does not have a the person has a heart disease so 403 so i can say that 306 and 403 are correctly classified cases so 306 plus 403 divided by total number will give me the classification accuracy and that is 77.23 percentage quite good quite good now let us understand the misclassified cases which are there in actual a person was having a heart disease but the algorithm predicted no heart disease and there are 105 misclassified cases similarly a person does not have heart disease but the algorithm predicted that he or she may be having a heart disease so 104 plus 105 is the misclassification now what is the class classic recall that in case of no how much was the classification accuracy that is 74.63 percentage in case of yes how much was the classification accuracy that was 79.33 percentage you should focus on this it should be higher than 60 percentage you can also see the plot view from here so for more videos on rapid minor kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter please refer my playlist for more videos on rapid minor thank you